All right, we're gonna get this vlog going. This is where we're starting off. We just went and got the checks. We have everything hooked up, minus this only has a four-way, so we just, I'll ha hook that up when we go get the truck, but it'll be fine, because you can see the taillights. Uh, we stopped yesterday, a guy ran this over, and I was able to get it out from underneath his car, and there was ratchet straps in it, so that's good. So we're gonna be taking the trailer today, hopefully. I need to check all the tire pressures. I probably should have done that pre-tripped earlier, but this will be the video. We're gonna be getting new fenders for it because one of the customer trucks kind of ended up ruining it, the new fenders. So we're gonna get them cut off and replaced, but we'll take the Dakota today. We've got Liam. Take your backpack off, boy. So oil change, fresh everything is done. Truck is up in New York. So we're gonna go grab that now. And yeah, it's like three and a half hours. So we're gonna head up there. Like I said, we got the checks and everything. Interest rate is pretty high on this thing. If I take five years to pay it off, it would cost me $26,000. So I need to pay this truck off in like the next six months. So we'll go over those details when we get there, but let's get into it. All right, 46 minutes, 36 miles to go. We gotta get fuel. There's your prices. 409, the cops everywhere across the street it's 419 so i figured i'll come here first we got the first half of the journey complete we're about a minute away as you can see we need to be on the other side of that track and then make a right but he won't be here for another probably 35 minutes so we're just gonna listen to these trains spool up i guess for a little while all the way down there they've been coupling and recoupling for like a while Oh, maybe. Maybe they let us buy this time. Should we show them the truck? Should we show the truck? People are gonna be mad at me. People are gonna be really mad at me. <laughs> this is the new truck. It's squatting because I, I made sure that I didn't have tools so I had to put the hitch up, but here she is. 2006 Ram 2500 9K GVWR, uh, four wheel drive, 48 RE, BMW gooseneck hitch. Everybody's gonna be wondering. I actually just had a guy stop and offer to buy the wheels off me, but we are not selling them. I'm gonna have to go and get a new fifth wheel hitch. This thing's all, I'm gonna have to get this thing strapped down. When I went to hook it, I completely forgot to, uh, to clip it and uh yeah the hit, it went way up in the air so we were able to kind of self-control that drop but yeah like i said and here's the truck i'll give you some details here later once we get that strapped down all right she's all strapped down i'm gonna crunch some numbers for you guys just a little bit of clippage here we're gonna probably add some to that but if you guys will see here i'll give you guys a good reason as to why i bought this thing so i got out of the parking lot i've probably been in the parking lot for about 10 minutes prior to you know started loading and somebody's already come up to me and started making conversation about it. Um, someone was interested in the wheels and just wanted to talk about the truck in general. I'm like, I literally just bought this thing 10 minutes ago. And that brings a good point as to why, there's actually a lot of reasons why I bought this thing. Um, it's basically an attention getter. Kind of draws people into the channel. The views have been quite low, so. I was looking at two-wheel drive dualies. I know I wanted one, but the market's just not there right now. So we said, fuck it, we'll do something else. We'll get a four-wheel drive. Big tires lifted. I think these are, let me see what these are. Are these 14 wides? These are 30, oh, these are 33s. Oh, I thought they were 35s. Okay, 33, 12, 50, 20s. So, yeah, those are like steam rollers. I know the, I can get some 14 wides, but yeah, I didn't realize that these were 33, so I might actually be able to take the lift off no problem. Uh, he did have 35s on this before, but we have plenty of plans for this thing. Tomorrow we're gonna start tearing this thing apart and I'll show you guys uh, what we're gonna end up doing with it. I did put the mirrors down because I can't see for shit when they're up. Uh, we do have new mirrors coming for it anyway, but the truck is tinted, which I thought it was darker. Um, we're gonna have to get that redone um, a lot darker because I don't think I'll have to look and see what that is if that's 5% I'll keep it if it's not I'm gonna add more so we're gonna have to get rid of stuff like this needs to go these clip-ons but we'll worry about that when we get home the sand straight pipe 
four inch. Uh, hopefully it's not a single wheel spinner, but everything is there, two piece drive shaft. Um, stock automatic so we're gonna go over this thing i might get a built trans for it considering how cheap they are they're only like 1700 bucks so actually it looks like i might actually just be able to take the front spacer off i didn't even see that so i'll be able to take the lift off of this no problem um but yeah we'll see um seems like there was an oil leak at one point i'm gonna have to get rid of the daddy's money because you guys know that's where I get all mine at. But yeah, basically I kind of got this thing. Like, it's not perfect. So as you guys will see, he told me it does need rockers. That's fine. I'm good with that. Um, clean bed. What do you think? So the, there's one thing that's also weird. So this is broken. but every, It's not broken. It's no. not broken. It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's open these up. So we have plenty of room here for a subwoofer. We'll be going in here an amplifier and all that shit cloth interior just like i liked it like i said we'll get this thing all gone over at some point but i don't know how long we're going to keep it around but the uh the interest rate is sure um expensive so if you guys want to get into some numbers as to how much the truck actually cost so out the door price um purchase price was about fourteen thousand. okay and i'm going to show you guys why i like the 06s this is the interior that I love. I love this interior and it already has this, so I don't need to worry about it. Four wheel drive, mechanical. But yeah, I've always liked this interior. So like I said, I love the, the I, I had an 06 before. I wanted to go back to one, but there's many, many reasons as to why I went with this. Like the market is pretty bad right now for Hot Shot. Now with that being said, it makes no sense for me to go buy a dually. The reason it makes no sense for me to go buy a dually is mainly for the aspect of I'm not going to use it like a dually. So I needed a single wheel truck that can just bring in channel views for one and for two be obnoxious and I guess bring in more haters. Looks like we have half a tank. The interest rate on this bad boy is 23%. So if I make five years worth of payments, it comes out to $26,060 is what this truck would cost me. So obviously I'm gonna try to pay this thing off as quick as possible or get my business to refinance it, but it is what it is. I'll probably have this thing paid off in like, I'd like to say four months. All right, so this thing is breaking next. straight pipe it's already louder than the 12 valve. I can't imagine what this is gonna be like with a five inch and a stack. Good great oh goodness gracious. I'm a little uh you know giggity right now just because um I, I haven't driven a straight pipe common rail in a long time and yeah I, I kind of miss this over the 12 valve. I just always love the noise of a common rail. So we'll see how long it lasts. Who knows? I mean I can flip a switch tomorrow and be like yeah fuck this truck but we're gonna put a five inch on it first and a stack, and we'll see how it goes from there. All right, so one of my favorite things to do, we're gonna stop at the subway here, but one of my favorite things to do is buy vehicles sight unseen. I spent, you know, quite a few amounts of dollars on this truck. Um, I'm gonna be swapping out the grill. We're gonna get rid of that as well, and then probably change out the cab lights because these are kind of white. I'll show you guys what I mean. So the cab lights are white. I do like that. Let me turn the, let me make sure the fog light off button works. Yeah, I do like those marker lights. That looks sick, but we're gonna swap out the cab lights and the grill for something different. I'm gonna try to get the bottom part here. I wanna get this painted white. But in the meantime, we're kinda going over the truck and seeing what it's gonna need. And unfortunately, like I said, I bought this sight unseen. I didn't give a shit. So I think we have a front main leak, which is fine, whatever. You know, I can get that taken care of. There's an oil drip. Um, you can see it's probably been leaking for quite a while. So I'll get that taken care of. Um, the other thing I noticed, one, about the spacers. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier in the video, but the front drive shaft, let me wiggle this guy. So there's slop from the first part to the second part. So I'm gonna have to get 
Probably get a new front drive shaft. Um, you can see, hopefully it's just a front main. Oh, 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 would you look at that? We got some oil drippage right there. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this thing cleaned off and see if we can't diagnose where that leak is coming from. But being that I'm in park, I can't tell if the rear drive shaft needs any work. But you can see like the inside rocker's kind of gone. That's fine. I mean, not technically, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not super worried about it. So those two things automatically. And then I notice every Cummins I buy has that thing not having working lights. Like two of them work out of three, but everything else has been fine. It does have a little bit of a shake, which maybe it's that front drive shake. Not a shake, but like it has a weird, um, when you're accelerating, it kind of has a iffy, like kind of vibrates a little bit. So like I said, uh, you guys will get to come along this journey. We'll get it mechanically sound first, but I don't see anything obvious. What's the alignment? Let's see if I can eyeball it. Eh, looks all right. From what I can tell, it looks all right, but you guys get the point. Um, we'll uh, start tearing at it tomorrow. I'm gonna be taking uh, the first couple days of this week to get this thing all settled in, so I'll do a couple videos on this and then we're back in the shop. So we're gonna grab some Subway now. All right, we just stopped. We're gonna get some fuel because I have like 200 and some dollars worth of free mud flap fuel. So I'm gonna check these straps, make sure everything is tight for one. I pulled in backwards, I know. I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. So everything is tight. Now here's the problem I think we're having with the truck. I think this need. I think it needs a carrier bearing. So I'm gonna get under here. I really think it needs a carrier bag. And it does. You guys see that? The thing is vibrating like crazy. Look at that. I have the, I have it in um, park, but I put the e-brake on so that it wouldn't roll. Oh, look at that. Needs this U-joint too. So not only does it need a carrier, but it needs, I'm just gonna go get it rebuilt. I don't even care. Now, as I said earlier in the video, I bought this truck sight unseen. And mainly the reason I bought the single wheel was because we really don't, aren't gonna be doing much hot shot with it if I do anything but the majority of the time it's gonna be used for the shop and some minor hotshot stuff, but I'm not super worried about it because I mean, I'm gonna drive it more as a single wheel than I ever will a dually anymore. But with buying this thing uh, sight on scene also comes with the fact that there are gonna be some problems. I have no idea what all the problems are yet, but we've already run into some things. Uh, I don't know if the tail lights work. That was one thing. I'm gonna check here because I didn't see any reflection. So I'm assuming the tail lights don't work. Oh, they do. Oh, we do have tail lights. Okay, they're just not very bright. Cool. All right. Um. So we have working tail lights. Only one speak. Only I'm only getting sound from that side on the speaker. We need to replace some LEDs and shit. But main reason I'm gonna say we're gonna start throwing some parts at it and getting it perfect. Now, what do I mean by getting it perfect? So you guys know with my last truck, it was an experiment truck. We spent all the time in the world putting the cheapest parts in it letting it break down, doing all the bullshit. And with this truck, we're not gonna do that, okay? So my first truck, I learned my lesson. The more I see how the truck used to look like this, the more I want that. Oh, I just about had a heart attack. I thought it said $286, okay, 180. So this is a free fill up right here. But yeah, so every part that I do on this truck is going to be good quality OEM or aftermarket parts. We are not gonna be skimping out on parts at all. All right, first fill up was $186. I had $207 in credits. See, this fill up is free. I'm happy about that. I did, uh, yeah, so we're gonna head home now. I got 40 minutes till we get to drop Liam off. All right, so I just got home. I completely forgot to film the rest of it. I went and did a quick test loop once the, uh, the truck was off of the trailer. So I did find that there is like a little, I, the check engine light was on when I bought it, right? So it went out. I, was, I didn't think anything of it, but when you're floored, 
kind of like hesitates up top. Like the RPMs will kind of like wiggle a little bit if you're like hammer on it, because I, I, you know, I wanted to see what it would do. And then the check engine light comes on. So I'll read that tomorrow. It's probably like a low rail pressure code or something. So either it needs a lift pump, a injection pump, or maybe some injectors. But we'll see. We'll let that figure out for tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like fuel savings, go check out Mudflap. Link in the description. There's a bunch of other stuff in there. If you need to get a hold of me, go uh, check out centralpalogistics at gmail.com. We're going to be working on a website here pretty shortly. We've already bought the domain name. So we're just getting ready to get everything started. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Later.